right, we're here at the dugout bait and tackle. I'm gonna go over my kayak here, show you guys what dugout has done to it. Um, just got back from Seminole last week. It performed flawlessly. I love the boat, I love the graphs, the motor. I said it, yes, I love the motor. And uh, so, we're gonna give you a walkthrough. So up here, we just have the puck, the hummingbird puck. You can pinpoint me on my, G my GPS, waypoints, things of that. We have the dugout dashboard here. It's real sturdy, real thick aluminum. It mounts straight to your kayak plates here, right here in the track. I got the dual hum hummingbirds here. Um, I got them tilted in. It comes with no holes in the dashboard, so you can pre-drill set your graphs wherever you like tilt them in like i got them set them straight you can put one you can put two you might could even get three if you go with sevens or nines we have the foot steering here this is great for the motor saves your rudder saves your drive saves everything we have the fisher pole for the mega live swivels 360 degrees We have the Yak Attack Black Pack 16 by 16. This holds my 36 volt 60 amp battery and my 60 amp battery for my graphs. We have the, the cord, the thick cord ran for the motor. This is for to lock it in reverse. All right, so we have the motor bracket here that you mount the, mount the motor to. It's Innovative Sportsman. It's through hole mount mounted. That way it won't rip out the plastic. And then we have the NK300. This thing's got a lot of torque, a lot of power. It pushes my boat five miles an hour easy at 50% throttle. If I go full throttle, I can get over six miles an hour in this boat. This hands down, one of the best. I got the upgraded steering triangle here. This allows for complete turning radius. Um, I can sit here and turn my kayak on its nose and the boat will not move. It'll do a complete circle. I have the lift, upgraded lift bar here, made by Tom himself. All right, so I got the the Harkin swivel pulleys here. Those are nice, makes it real smooth. We went with the through hole mount for my power. That way I don't have extra cables and whatnot running across the top of my kite to get hung up. For the power, we ran these IP67s here. You literally just twist, pull off, you line your two little plugs up and they just push on. Real simple. Both my batteries sit in here for my Newport and my graphs. They'll sit in there real easy. We got the Harkin cleat here for the motor. It's real simple. It's real easy to use. It's at an angle, as you, as you can see. So no matter if you pull from up here a little bit, it'll still catch if you're sitting in your seat. Trim your motor up, down, whatever you like. Real smooth. We got the catch handle here. This thing is nice. It is easy feeling on the hand. It's, it's a nice fit. We got the throttle here. We come out of this Hobie through hole here. Have it zip tied to the H rail. Went with a H, uh, Hobie H rail clamp and mounted it here. It's real nice, easy to grab onto, easy to see. And also we have my uh, running lights here, red and green, got them mounted. Got them into the hole, wired it into the hole, and run through the kayak to under the seat where I can just mount a battery and plug them in. So it's, it's real simple. So here we got the Tim Percy mounting plate. We got my Hovingbird Ethernet switch panel. And this is where my power runs through. My two main poles are here, and all of my electronics are screwed in here real nice and clean cup up we have this my, my mega live cord is run through here we drilled a hole because with the hummingbird you have a short cord so I can disconnect it here my power my Ethernet and pull it back into the kayak that way I don't have to worry about the ends of my cables getting corroded or anything like that